What's up y'all, Sean here. I go by Tail Exchange on YouTube and today I'm going to talk to you guys about how I buy myself paid time off as a full-time reseller. Ragnar is in the back sniffing some clothes. Ragnar, hey, come here. Hey, come here buddy. This is Ragnar. He's much bigger than he was. Let's see if we can lift him. Oh, oh, what a big doggy. What a big puppy. No. What a big puppy. Okay. Go. Go. Go, go, go. That was Ragnar. He's he's huge. He's like 55 pounds, and I think he's seven and a half months old. Back to what I was saying. What's up, y'all? Sean here. I go by Taylor Exchange on YouTube, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about how I buy myself paid time off as a full-time reseller. Now, you may be asking, Sean, you're a full-time reseller. You can take any time off that you want. Go ahead. Take the time off. Well, guess what, guys? As a full-time reseller, if you take time off and you don't do any work, you will make less money. I do have a lot of items listed. I have, I think, 3,400 items. I sell items every day, but if I stop listing consistently, I will slowly, slowly start losing sales and, and you know end up making less money. And I do not want to do that. I want to keep making money, but I have a wedding coming up. It's my cousin Tristan's wedding. It's in Nash. No, it's not in Nashville. So they're having it in Tennessee. I live in Texas, so I'm going to need some time to drive there. Yes, fuel's high, but I'm going to drive because um, I'm just one of those people. I'm going to actually turn it into a business trip. I'm going to thrift a little bit on the way there and then thrift a little bit on the way back because uh, that's something I like to do, thrift in, in places that I don't really know. How do I buy myself paid time off as full-time reseller? One thing you can do is you can work the amount of time that you want off in the meantime, and then you just save that work and you like... Um, you drop those listings off throughout the, the days that you're off. Whenever I list an item on eBay, I go through the entire listing, but I do not press the button to list item now. I press save item as draft, and that allows me to wake up in the morning and see how many drafts that I have available, and then I can launch those drafts onto eBay uh, every day, pretty consistent. And um, currently through this past year, which I'm almost one year uh, into full-time reselling, it'll be June 23rd, will be my year anniversary. Thank you guys. Oh my gosh. Such a good feeling to not have to work for anybody. Uh, eBay's been great. Coming up on a year, what I've been doing is uh, I was listing I think 20 a day, then 25, then 30, and then I'm at 35 now. What I like to do is I like to do all my work Monday through Friday and then Saturday and Sunday I try to maintain that work. I typically do draft all my items throughout the week and then on the weekend I kind of um, launch those and, and sometimes I sometimes I do draft, sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends what's going on with, with my life, with my wife and, and my dog. So one of the things I'm going to do to buy myself some time off is I'm going to take more photos of items and I'm going to draft more items than I list each day. The, the real trick to this is you have to have more items to take photos of, so you have to source more, and that's either add uh, more stores to your route or stay in the stores longer that, um, that you think you can pull more items out that can, that can make you money. So that, that is a bit of a challenge. Pretty much reselling boils down to having items that people want. You know, there are people that have uh, honey holes or they have these golden sources or these these opportunities where they can get all these items and and once you can do that you can pretty much be successful yeah there's a lot of things that you need to do in the form of um, storage um, yeah, like processing photos listing all those things but it doesn't it doesn't take like it doesn't take a genius to do it it does take a little bit of capital and a little bit of um, uh, trial and error maybe but if you have the source, you can become successful in this business. If you do not have the source, um, good luck because it, it is tough. You have to go out and hunt. I mean, it's almost like if you've seen that uh, Star Wars movie where Ray is out there like pillaging for uh, scrap metal to sell to eat food. Like that's that's she's pretty much a reseller. She's going out there and she's like beating off those little womp rats and, and whatever the crap is in Star Wars. And she's finding those old parts and those are valuable parts that people want and she's getting a little bit of food. So that's all I'm trying to do. And I'm trying to have that food for my wife and my dog whenever I go to a, a wedding in Tennessee. And, and why is my dog and my wife not going? It's because she's pregnant, guys. I'm going to be having my first 
child. My wife is 15 weeks pregnant to the day. We do not know what it is yet. Um, either a boy or a girl. I'd be happy with both, but I am rooting for a boy. Why? You know, probably not. shouldn't say that because they'll probably see this video maybe whenever they're old enough. I think a boy can be used more as far as labor. Um, I guess, you know, girls can do most things that men can do, but at the same time, like, I wouldn't want to make my, my daughter go out in Texas in this, like, 105 degree heat or, and say, hey, go mow the lawn. But if I had a son, I would, I would do it in a heartbeat. It would not uh, bother me one bit. You know, call it what it is. But yeah, she's pregnant. So congratulations to her and me for making that happen. Mainly her because she is, um, she's, she's grinding through it. Stephanie, I love you and I'm really glad that um, we're gonna be doing this thing. Back to why I need to buy myself. You know, I need to, I need to earn paid time off as a full-time reseller. You're gonna have to work more. What that means is, you know, if you work um, haphazardly for five to six to eight hours a day, you need to work more focused for those five to six to eight hours, or you need to work 10 to 12 hours. Let's say it's four days because the math's easier. That's 70 times two, that's 140 items. So I guess um, eight days would be 280 items. I need almost 280 items drafted to feel comfortable to take those days off and, and keep my eBay store at the consistent level level of what it is now. And what that means is, you know, typic a typical day for me, like the perfect day would be photographing 90 items like before lunch and then um, drafting out all those items before bed, whether that's um, after lunch to five when my wife gets off and then I kind of shut work off for a little bit. Um, but I usually pick work back up at, at 8. Sometimes I work 8 to 11. Sometimes it's 9 to 11. It just kind of depends. It just kind of depends uh, what's going on and how, how motivated I am. You know, I'm starting to add workouts into my day because I want to become more fit. It, it's tough. You know, there's only so many hours a day and I'm a one man show, but I get all the money in the end. So that feels good too. Anyway, so a, a, a more of a, a more of a common day would be photographing like 60 items and then drafting out like let's say um, 35 items and then uh, the next morning I would I would draft you know like build the drafts for for the remainder of those photos and then start my photo process again and try to get those 50s so what I'm doing now is I'm going to take photos of let's say um, 60 to the 90 and then I'm going to draft you know almost all those before the end of the day now the trick with this whole thing is like you have to buy more items to make up for the added um, drafts that you're building, and and it's tough, you know. If you don't have that source, it can be very tough. But you just either have to, you know, go through those stores like we were saying, or um, dig deeper into those lower end brands, you know, so you can get that money. Um, clothing reseller. My name's Sean. I love doing it. I'm gonna be a father at the end of the by the end of the year hopefully that all goes well and yeah i hope you guys can um go out there and make some money and if you want to build time off just just do the work just do the work and uh enjoy the freedom so i appreciate you guys watching i'll catch you guys next time bye